Glyphs of Eldemir, a pay what you want dungeon roguelike game. This is by Legit Games. I'm joined by Tubby Mora once again to give some feedback on this Kickstarter and see, you know, what it's all about. How's it going, guys? Uh, Glyphs of Eldemir. So this is a retro dungeon roguelike game, and it features four dungeons, dozens of weapon spells, character customization, permadeath, and more. There's also a demo that you can check out. And from our initial impressions, the game actually it looks pretty good, especially it's really reasonable with the player, I said player, <laughs> pledge <laughs> tiers that we will be going into a little bit. But first of all, Tubby, what are your initial thoughts on the game from the trailer and everything, how it's laid out? Well, generally from the first trailer, the feeling I'm getting is it looks like the groundwork and the framework is is there. Like it looks like a roguelike, feels like a road light, and it plays like a road light. The thing I'm wondering is like, you know what? Is there any features that really make this game different from other roguelikes? Or does it just follow the tried and true formula of like what a roguelike is? And mm -hmm. just from what I'm seeing, it's the it's 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 solid like i actually want to know more about it i want to see what else the game has to offer and it looks pretty good yeah there's like a lot of uh, enemies on the screen in the trailer and it's a pretty cool concept you know a lot of roguelites have enemies sometimes they have a little sometimes they have a lot i like that the game is trying to take a different approach which you know a ton of enemies on the screen that seems like a really fun time i'm curious to see how crazy that's going to be like with you know in terms of being a roguelike and how you know accessible it is to actually kill enemies not get hit by enemies how much health and you know all of, of that stuff but do, do we know if this game is multiplayer or is it just single player um from what we have at the moment no Oh. I'm assuming that it is single player, probably in the future, maybe uh, if it takes cool. off. But I know a lot of roguelike games and roguelike games are generally single player. Mm -hmm. But I guess that would actually make it, you know, a little bit more unique and stand out if it did incorporate it, even if it's just loco. I'm also wondering how uh, they're going to implement the six combat masteries, the warrior, archer, sorcerer, etc. Like, how is that going to work? Is it going to be like... Uh, like after you get far enough or if you die, can you like switch your characters? There's a lot of uh, things I'm wondering about too, like the character progression, the stats of leveling. Like, are you able to keep some of your stuff? Are you just going to lose it all? Like, how will it work? I'm not, not entirely sure, but it's definitely interesting. Some of these features, because uh, not a lot of roguelikes have stuff like this, especially combat masteries. I rarely see that kind of thing in roguelikes. Mm -hmm. That is actually pretty unique and I'm just very like curious of how everything will actually play out like you said I'm thinking that if they have these different masteries maybe it might be stuff you have to unlock so it gives you more of a incentive to play to unlock more classes um what do you think about that do you like games where you can do everything at the start in terms of classes or do you think having a progression of actually unlocking different classes depending on how far you get or maybe on the different types of enemies you kill or bosses uh, per personally for me with these kind of games i like it when uh, everything's available to you right at the get-go but depending on how you use that character or like what kind of skills or weapons you're you know you're more proficient with then you get better with that type of skill set that, that's the kind of thing that I'm hoping this is this is like what what's what it's going for because I remember we played um a game called rampage Knights and then it's like you start with a base class but as you progress you unlock other classes but I kind of wish you had that option earlier to progress mm -hmm. so you can get a feel for your character but it'll be interesting to see what they uh, decide to do with this yeah it definitely seems like the game is uh looking good so far especially what I like about the game, and me and Tubby talked about this before, is that for one dollar, you get oh, yeah. access to the game, a pre-order for just a dollar. I know, and the referral link you can get another copy too, for any of your friends. So I know that is that's impressive, like, great, and you know it really gives incentive for people to back it, especially. With the amount of only $1,000 being a go, the 
developer is like halfway there almost to actually get into the go so that's like a very reasonable price especially when you like look at the other things that you get in the further tiers um a lot of the times you see in different kickstarters to certain things like uh getting your name or creating an npc or designing a trap or enemy those are usually in a really high tiers like 500 a thousand dollars but this is really reasonable since you know the goal in general is just a thousand so for like 95 you get the tombstone engraving thing 145 you get you know everything before plus designing an npc and so on and another interesting thing to note is that this game is actually only being developed developed by one person which is pretty cool and it seems like he's done his research because like out of all the kickstarter games we've covered like i feel like this is like one of the best <laughs> like kickstarter like awards or rewards that i've seen it's like even if you just put in five bucks you're already getting your name in the credits the soundtrack and get you're even getting a strategy guide on top of it and then at five dollars you, you get the early access in october 2019 so just even just five bucks you get so much stuff already so i know it's pretty even solid. if you look 30 dollars, you get a physical kickstarter t-shirt that's Heck yeah it's pretty good and can go, go to bed with this shirt can you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can dream about glyphs of eldemir it's part of the experience it also seems like the developer has a lot of experience you can see 17 years of programming experience self-motivated dedicated so there's a lot of different things and I definitely feel like this developer is, you know, trying to honestly create a fun game, you know, one that's passionate, maybe one that's not going to be, you know, crazy and maybe it might not have like a lot of stuff that a lot of higher end games have like AAA games, but definitely much more love trying to be put into the game. Mm-hmm. And there's also a demo, right? Like from what we saw. Yes, there is a demo on itch.io, uh, you know, pretty simple things like a tutorialized level, um, some enemies that are, you know, that you see in these kind of screenshots right here in, GIF, in like GIFs. Yep. So if you guys are interested in checking out this game, be sure to check the description box below and give it a try. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to discover something new on the channel, or if you want to see any of the previous Kickstarter games we've covered, then there will be a card on the end screen right now. And also, you can check out the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you, Tubby, for being on this episode. Oh, yeah, no problem. Everyone, you guys take care, take it easy, and, you know, just go discover something new.